The United States Navy SEALs are perhaps the most iconic and elite special forces of the world. The U.S. Navy SEALs is an acronym for Sea, Air, and Land, which are the environments that they operate in. As the premier special operation forces for the U.S. Navy, these soldiers are equipped with some of the most advanced combat gear in the world. So where do the raw materials for their gear come from? Let's start with the infrared strobe lights. An infrared strobe light is a light that soldiers attach to the back of their helmet for the purpose of identifying their teammates out in the battlefield, even during the night to avoid friendly fire. The infrared strobe is made out of materials such as aluminum, gallium, and arsenic, all of which are mainly imported from China. Next up are the night vision goggles. As the name suggests, the goggles allow the Navy SEALs to see even at night. Similarly to the infrared strobe lights, the night vision goggles contain a lot of elements that are mainly imported from China, such as gallium, germanium, arsenic, and aluminum. The Colt M4A1, also known as the M4 carbine, is the Navy SEAL's primary weapon. The materials that make up the M4 carbine include aluminum and vanadium, which are mainly mined from China, while chromium and magnesium are typically mined from South Africa. Lastly, diving regulators, which reduces pressure from a Navy SEAL's air supply before delivering it to the diver, are made of metal parts that all rely on mining. In fact, did you know that every one of the very first diving regulators was made by a mining engineer? The invention came about in 1860 when a French mining engineer invented a regulator with an iron air reservoir to let miners breathe in flooded mines. These are just some examples of globally sourced mineral commodities used by soldiers. To learn more about how mining impacts the world around you, subscribe to our channel for future videos. Sponsored by Kamatsu.